fact, let's take it across straight to Mr. Shyam Srinivasan, the MD and CEO at Federal Bank. He should be a happy man, delighted with the quarter gone by, and we're really keenly awaiting to find out from from him uh, where he sees uh, the bank actually perform in the future quarters from here. Mr. Srinivasan, afternoon. Is my voice reaching you, sir? Yes, it is. Yes. Congratulations. What a brilliant quarter it has been and the street is giving your stock a thumbs up. As I last recall, it's uh, up almost 8% your stock. Tell us what's led to this kind of massive improvement in your asset quality. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, we are quite uh, uh, elated with the good performance. Uh, it's not been a one-off story as you may have recognized. It's been many quarters and consistent improvement. And the trajectory has been strong on all counts, growth, control, uh, cost management, as also the overall credit costs and the slippages related. It's been an all-round good outcome uh, specific to credit. We've been guiding for almost three to four years that the focus of the bank has been to be more uh, at the higher uh, end of the credit grades and avoid some of the bumpier, riskier ones. I think that's paying off. And the more recent intensity we brought to different parts of the bank is all coming to bear. So yes, we are quite uh, excited with the exit of FY17, augurs well for FY18. So that's what I would say. So Mr. Srinivasan, that means um, this jump up that you have seen in asset quality, this improvement, it's not on account of any one-time sale or anything like that to ARC, is that right? <laughs> Let me uh, give you, uh, sort of break that into three parts. The new slippages for the quarter was 244 crores, the lowest in almost five to six quarters. The gross NPA number improvement is on the back of lower slippages, sale to ARC and the intensity in recovery and upgrade. The sale to ARC is about 318 crores. The new slippages were 244 crores. Uh, recovery plus upgrade was almost about 180 crores. So the gross NPA improvement is on account of all of this. Okay. Mr. Srinivasan, I'm going to ask you to just dig out in your books and uh, give me the margin figure because I still don't have that. 3.42. I don't have to dig out. I'll tell you right away. <laughs> okay. Okay. 3.4. So that as well has been better than what the street was estimating. 3.42. 3.42. Okay. Great at that. Uh, tell me, is there any pressure that you're seeing on your SME as well as your corporate book loan growth? <coughs> Uh, you may have noticed the credit growth for the year is north of 25%. The sequential growth in SME, corporate, retail has all been quite robust. SME for the quarter grew at 32% annualized, 8% for the quarter. The first half we were a little more muted on SME while corporate had grown very substantially. In Q4, SME picked up, particularly in the branches that are outside of our home market where we put in a lot of effort. The rate of growth of SME was quite significant. Uh, we are now knocking at close to 1% market share of the Indian credit market. So we are gaining share quite substantially across the geographies. And SME has done well. Slippages, if you notice, about 122 crores for the quarter, which is amongst the lowest in many quarters in SME. Mm. So what next from you, Mr. Srinivasan? Can we see a continued uh, easing off on the balance sheet stress in terms of your asset quality? Can we see a significant improvement in margins? Because you sound very relieved that FI17 is over. So I'm just wondering what is the big bank performance they're going to project in FI18? I mean, we certainly wouldn't want this to be a one-off. We would want this to be the minimum sort of base upon which we keep climbing from. The run rate is more important. If you look at the revenue trajectory, the balance sheet growth trajectory, the mix in the book has been quite consistently what we wanted it to be across four to five quarters. And I'm quite confident the way the teams are set up, the way the business opportunities are coming up, our strengths combined by some of the others being a little more distracted, even the bigger players have challenges. I think we are well positioned for this kind of uh, order of growth or even higher. And I'm quite confident the teams are well equipped to go and get that share of growth. Right. Uh, right. Hi, Mr. Srinivasan. This is uh, Poonam here also joining from the Mumbai studios. In fact, I just uh, wanted to uh, just relook at, at your asset quality. A uh, good amount of improvement, but it seems it is also coming on the back of a 318 crore uh, sale to ARC during this quarter. I uh, just wanted to know what is the, um, the cash consideration in the SR receipts uh, for the sale uh, to ARC that has happened during this quarter? And uh, what would be, in fact, the uh, haircut that you have taken for this? And uh, in, what, in what sector would this 
this uh, sale to ARCB? What is the nature of this account? If you could help us uh, with those details, please. Okay, that's a lot of questions in one. Uh, it's not one account. It's the largest account is about 40 crores. It's across the average median will be about 15 crores an account, roughly 15 accounts, if I remember right, 15 to 16 accounts. And therefore, it is not uh, in any particular geography or any particular segment. By the order of how the Indian in ma markets have shaped up, there's a certain degree of uh, uh, focus on steel, particularly in the east of India. So that's featuring in this list. But uh, in terms of haircut, it's 15% cash. So the rest is to SRs. Okay. Uh, so, do, uh, how do you see the entire NPA uh, stress uh, moving ahead, uh, both in the SME uh, corporate book? I know that retail has been doing fairly uh, well in the last many quarters. Uh, what is your outlook on the stress in both these sectors? In both these sectors, will FY18 be far better? And is there a possibility of any recoveries also in FY18? Um, let me break that into two parts. Your, if you tracked us last year, you would have seen our overall provision, credit provision was north of 550 crores. This year, that was about 400 odd crores for the full financial year. And in that 400 crores, there was an 84 crore provision on account of amortization of transactions done in the past year. So actually the provision for the slippages this quarter, this year is about 320 crores. So the 550 crores has come down to something like 320 crores. So you can see a marked progress on that. And that should be the new run rate which we will work off. We haven't, like I pointed out earlier, increased any of the riskier assets in any segments. Uh, are there one or two accounts that will always be dodgy? Answer is yes. Are we focused on addressing them? Yes. Is there confidence in the management to make sure that this year continues to be on the same trajectory? Big yes. Right. Uh, coming to your margin picture as well as your CASA ratio, if you could help us with those details and uh, how do you see, uh, is there any scope of further improvement in the margins uh, from the current levels and also uh, in terms of your CASA ratio? Margin, like I mentioned, was 3.42 for the quarter, full year was 3.31. Uh, in that zone, I've always guided that our margin for a full year basis should be between 320, 325. We're at the upper side of the uh, of the guidance in FY17, partly helped by some very good progress on account of the demonetization, therefore growth in low cost deposits, equally helped by the fact that the credit growth for almost greater part of the year was very consistent, it was not back-ended. That's why we've shown credit growth each quarter quite substantially. So on the back of these factors, I think between 320 and 325 is what our margin should be. We would like to see it on the upside, but this is what I would guide for. On the second part of your question on CASA, uh, we are now at close to 33% CASA ratio. Uh, the quarter that went by did see a drop in the CASA ratio, not in the CASA, for the reason that we had some very good large bulk deposits that came uh, for relationship reasons. So to that extent, the denominator got a little inflated. CASA has still grown 27%. Right, you just preempted my question, uh, Mr. Srinivasan, on the CASA front. In fact, uh, um, what is the kind of uh, run rate that you are going to see going ahead? Uh, was the remonetization? Uh, how do you see uh, expanding further into the CASA ratio? And also, uh, is there a possibility? Um, I'm again combining another question here. Um, I just see that advances have grown to 25% during this uh, quarter. Uh, it seems that, yes, growth is coming back, and it has been in this quarter itself. Um, what is the run rate on the advances from you see for F518 and how will your product mix also be there? Uh, Punam last year was not the last quarter alone grew. Uh, in fact, last quarter grew at 5% for the quarter. That's only 21% uh, annualized. The full year credit growth was 25%. So our growth was more even paced through the financial year. We expect that run rate to surely continue into F518 and in parts accelerate. The book of the bank has been by choice almost one third, one third, one third between retail, SME and corporate. Sometimes we dial up some parts of the bank wherever there are opportunities. So I think the uh, split between retail, corporate and SME should be in that order of magnitude plus minus a few basis points. You could say between 35, 33 to 35% depending on where the opportunities are. Okay. Uh, how about your capital, sir? Uh, with the kind of uh, growth that uh, uh, you do plan uh, going ahead, uh, how long uh, will the current capital last? Uh, would there be any uh, capital raising plan, say, towards the end of FY18 or any time? Uh, could you just help us with that? 
Yes, uh, we have taken an enabling resolution. We will be raising or looking to raise in the course of financial uh, 18 a time instrument uh, mode yet we are working on. But the current run rate suggests that we may, uh, we are consuming good capital. There is demand for growth capital. We will look at raising capital in the course of FIAD. What is your capital requirement right now, Mr. Srinivasan? No, right now our CRAR is close to 12.35 or 12.36. So we have sufficiently well capitalized. But we do believe that there is an opportunity to grow. And there is a certain degree of appetite that we have and the market is willing to support. So we will look at it in the course of the financial year over the next few months. Okay, we'll speak again once you do finalize, you know, the quantum and the instrument as well. So, you know, since you are so positive and bullish about the future prospects, give me not a quarter to quarter, but the next two to three year strategy. Where is it that you envision Federal Bank two or three years down the line? Uh, you would be chasing us for a very good interview to tell you how we grew to three times where we are and all and for good reasons. That's a very diplomatic answer. I was looking for more details. <laughs> we'll do that as we firm things up. Uh, I'd be more focused on how we shape the next 12 months. <clears throat> okay, great to speak with you and congratulations once again for such a brilliant quarter. Thank you so much. Well, that's the word from Mr. Shyam Srinivasan. Excellent numbers. You can see that thumbs up that the street is given to the stock. 101.90 is where the stock is. That's a big spike of 8% coming in from Federal Bank right now. A fundraising activity soon, maybe down the line, few years to come. Extremely bullish a commentary really coming in with regards to where they see their margins, the asset quality pan out from here. And that's something that the street is liking a lot. Uh, the fact that also what what some of the other larger private banks couldn't do as we've seen in the earnings gone by they've managed to do even bring down the provisioning that's something that the street is really liking but before we head into a break here's Ajay